What's happening, everybody? John Denton here. Another reaction, another big Friday for music, future, little Uzi Vert, Pluto X, baby Pluto. Subscribe if you're new around here if you want to see this in uncut form. Patreon link down in the description. You know how it all works. Just going to jump straight in. I've been looking at the sun, but can't worry. I'm a mama all day, son, can't get worried. I toss that to the ceiling. I got me a brand new coupe and I took off the ceiling. It's missing a kick drum at the moment, a minute in, just waiting for it to drop. Been in a field for a long time. Bad bitch, try to fuck on me. Now the bad, bad bitch, like a hammer. Yeah, I'm used to the murders of a banana. That life brain handy. I'm not sure about that song, you know. It had elements that I like. I mean, this is a first listen, obviously. It lacked a little bit of depth. That's what I was saying. I was waiting for the kick drums to come in. Obviously, they did come in a little bit later, but it didn't have the sort of range of depth that I'm used to from great trap music. And it was very repetitive, which can be fine. The hook may be one that grows on me over time. <laughs> More Gucci than Gucci. That's a bit better. A bit more energy in this one. A bit more drive. That last one, I didn't like him going back to back because Future's on beat, Uzi's off beat. I know it's his style, but there's something about it sonically that doesn't massively work for me. Uh, and the song was just kind of tedious again. There wasn't enough going on the production. This already sounds better. Yeah, enjoyable track. Kind of like an assault on the senses. Loads going on in the production. All those crazy ad libs, the swoosh ad lib, everything else going on. Oh, that bitch that I'm gifted, she gave me a stiffy. I'm fucking that hoe for the low. Talking about bitches, you know I got plenty. Yes, I'm the real bitch, blue though. It could go long. GTO faster than your little slow charge. That's a Camaro, nigga, that's not no charge. Bitch, I'm plugged into the wall like a phone charge. Yes, what, she's sucking my dick and I'm fucking a kitten. You think that I'm kicking this shit? Not a bit of home run, I'm not missing the VVS. Yeah, you talking about bitches, you know I got plenty. Make a movie like the Nero. Yeah, pretty sure Robert De Niro doesn't make movies about fucking lots of different women. So. I think that might have been a bit of a tenuous stretch there, future. Trap, yeah, we moving them. You got a bad little bitch, and we using them. Trap on the low, but I bought your whole bitches. I walked down shit, I damn near broke my toe. Yeah, I'm sipping on syrup, I'm fucking your girl. I told her to ride it slow. I put shit up in the tall Lambo. Future might be the least relatable person I could ever imagine. But, listen, I'm a fan. There's, there's no two ways about it. I don't condone his actions or his words. I must admit I'm getting a bit bored with those fucking skipping hi-hats. I know it's like what trap music is. You always got to have the skipping hi-hats and it's just part of the sound. And a lot of these tracks, man, these days, I don't think it's adding much just to have these fucking skipping, rattling hi-hats all over the place. What do you think, man? Like This guitar sounds nice. It sounds like a smooth track. And then we just got the the whole time. I don't know. I'd like to see somebody just evolve the sound a little bit and not always be so reliant on that. We drank up and we smoked, but she always do the most. It kind of turned me on, but in the ocean. I'd love to hear a version of that track, a track that I liked, without just that fucking assault, the hi-hats, because when it's stripped back at the end there and it's just guitar, I don't know, it just gives the song a bit more space. I just told me, yeah, we gonna be straight. He saw me make a million off one damn play. I shoot it up, shoot it up, shoot it up. Shoot it up, shoot it up, shoot it up. Shoot it up, shoot it up, shoot it up. Shoot it shit when I'm booting up. I'm stiff in the club, can't loosen up. Got my Glock in, motherfucker, got turned up. The keys on this one, Zaytoven again. 
Just a genius, that guy. Come on. I just told me, yeah, we gon' be straight. He saw me make a million off one damn play. Shoot it up, 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 shoot it up. Yeah, best song on a record by a distance for me on first listen. And now we're six tracks in and my worries from the beginning have been like allayed a little bit. I'm less worried about this take going forward because we're on about a 50% hit rate, I would say. In fact, I kind of like almost all of the songs apart from Marnie or Me and that was only two minutes long. So fuck it. Let's change my mind a little bit. because, But that was class. Like Zaytoven's keys there, the little off key, low piano and then the flute slash pan pipe in there. I feel like the tape's just got under my skin now. I'm just going to let it go. A few transitions. Man, we see that's the way you the ice in this pattern. My dad on 180, I went up the wrong way. Look at the bells and the twinkle and glisten and shine. You gon' need you some sunblock. Then I roll up a leaf, I fuck on this bitch. Now she's so boss. Stella McCartney, I'm dripping so nerdy. My feet was a birdie, your lawn that was easy. See that's the way you the ice in this pattern. My dad on 180, I went up the wrong way. Look at the bells and the twinkle and glisten and shine. You gon' need you some sunblock. Guys, then we got it, you seconds, no me. I got two million on my chest. Bitches line up like a contest. It's taken me a minute to get into the vibe of this tape. And I think that's because when I listen to Future, normally I'm expecting to, I'm expecting some punch, right? Whereas what I'm actually finding on this one, and it goes well with the cover art, which is brilliant cover art, by the way. The two of them, the astronauts, the color, drug overtones that that has as well. It's a great cover, really striking color, everything about it. I'm just starting to float away with the music in a way that I'm actually finding really enjoyable. Listen, I've been sick all week. I'm still sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm kind of on the mend. But at the same time, I was a little bit intimidated to do an hour-long record on camera because it can be quite exhausting. But yeah, I mean, the last four or five tracks, I'm just starting to float away with it. I'm not breaking it down too much in my mind. I'm just allowing the songs to take me. And that's what music like this is supposed to do, right? You guys are always telling me that. Sometimes you need to switch to a different mindset. And I've listened to so many different types of music over my life. And some of it doesn't benefit from sitting there breaking it down and overanalyzing it. It really doesn't. And I do think this is what this is. Now, do I think a lot of these songs are better than some of the songs earlier on the record? Yeah, yeah. I'm just starting to float away. It's actually nice. It's a nice feeling. Even though lyrically the songs aren't nice. But that's just kind of like a dichotomy this music sits in. Weezy on this one. It's been killing it last couple of weeks. My goodness. Right, this next track is called Bought a Bad Bitch. So uh, expecting another triumphant feminist anthem from the boys here. Listen, I'm barely listening to whatever the hell they're talking about. I wouldn't say I'm barely paying attention because that's not true, but I'm just, it, I feel lighter, which at the moment I definitely, <laughs> that's definitely a good thing, but I feel lighter just listening to this. I'm not trying to say it's the greatest music of all time. It's not the greatest trap music of all time. It's not even on the level of like Savage Mode 2 or anything like that, I don't think. But for what it is, I'm enjoying it a lot. And and sometimes you have to just accept how... Mu and sometimes you just have to accept how music makes you feel in the moment. Yeah, no, I'm kicking it. Rockstar chain, I'm way to the floor, dog. Ain't trying to be cool with no rap, nigga. I'm fucking they hold, dog. Took two edits, I can't never... Guilty, crushed her heart when she found out I crushed a friend. 
She's just such an awful person. See your body. Thought it would have million dollars going to get me a billy. Soon as it come my way, I can't do never see your body. Just floating. Just floating away. Next to each other. I try my best just to hug him. When my fingers cross. Because I know deep down inside, I am really doing wrong. Yeah. Uh -huh. Five, four, three, two, one. I was supposed to love you until the sun was done. I try my best just to hug him. When my fingers cross. Because I know deep. What's that sample? You know me, good at hearing them, never good at identifying them. What's that sample there? Richard Millie and this shit calls the deuce. Yeah, summertime top ball. He hitting licks. Probably be flipping bricks. Probably be pimping chicks. I don't know, nigga. I'll probably be a hitter or something. I remember I used to stack my money just to cops in. This is a way better uh, and kind of deeper and more substantial track than one I was expecting on the record and two that I personally heard from Lil Uzi Vert before. It's actually a really good track, really interesting, real kind of insight into his growing up, his struggles, his thoughts of what could have happened to him had he not made money, how he feels about that, why he feels about that, why he is the way he is. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Why are you doing Kick a bitch out like Toodles. Lost on my plate, came a long way from noodles. Did he Kick a bitch out like Toodles. <laughs> what are they to say? His name's Jayon. Got a drink on the A with the cat. I shoot the three like I'm real. Yeah, in these hoes. Might as well go out of space. Tell him when you ready. And still, her man's on my curtains, yeah. First time I get some, put on my wrist and my chest. I'm against some wings. I think a nigga gonna go up when I go up. I can't fuck it up. Can't. Nice little chip tune, little jaunty chip tune in the beat there. Back to floating after the more serious track in Lullaby. None of these songs are mind blowing. Like none of these songs, I don't think, are going to go down as legendary. Lullaby is a little bit different because I like the substance on that song. No, like I served the bass on here or anything like that. That's really going to absolutely knock the shit out of you. Or even Rider Strikers from Future's album earlier in the year before the pandemic. Remember that. Remember that different life. Got off that. Got off that. Did he just say I bought me a horse just to match my Ferrari? It's just as I'm floating away or say something ridiculous like that. I don't want to wake up. I'd rather dream that's the way that you stay up. I don't want to break up. No, no. I don't want to break up. But they be drawing. Pick it up for the pick, yeah. Photogenic on the wrist, yeah. He said in my heart. I just can't buy you doing a romantic song, Future. I'm sorry. Don't save her. That's what they said. Don't save her. Little J. Cole interpolation there. Don't save her. Um, this song's a bit long and goes on a little bit. I can't I think I, unless there's a bang on these last two tracks, we could have probably wound the tape up by now. But it's inoffensive. I was about to say it's inoffensive. It's definitely not inoffensive. <laughs> there's nothing about this tape that's inoffensive. But you know what I mean? It, it, it's been a pleasant listen in many ways. I've just enjoyed, like I said, floating away to the tape. I don't think this is going to stay with me forever, but I'll probably pop it on quite regularly. <laughs> Instrumentation's crazy on this song. Listen to that, it's almost sound, sounding like howling wind in the background or something. Yeah, not a classic. Uh, I definitely would have taken out um, maybe three or four of those tracks just to tighten up the runtime a little bit if it was me uh, in charge of album sequencing, which is not. 
But overall, I enjoyed flying away to the projects. I said that multiple times throughout the reaction. Like I said, also there was no song on there that really, really blew me away. There was no song that I can't wait to listen to again. But at the same time, as something to kind of switch my brain off and allow myself just to enjoy from a musical point of view, it served its purpose. An enjoyable listen this morning. No complaints, really. No complaints. I called it inoffensive. It definitely isn't that, but how was it ever going to be? Guys, if you want to see the uncut version of this reaction, Patreon link down in the description. Please do go and click. Uh, you're getting all your album reactions uncut on there and a bunch of extra content as well. Extra album reactions, extra single reactions decided by the patrons. It's the entire support structure for this channel because as you know, the DMCA situation is just getting worse and worse and worse. What a crazy situation we're in at the moment. Obviously, all of my videos get content claimed, but I'm dealing with videos getting blocked way more regularly at the moment. We feel like we're getting to a clash with these record labels. Hopefully, they'll understand one day. We're not trying to take from you. We're trying to give. Maybe it will happen. Surely they'll start to understand soon. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Please subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know your thoughts on the record down in the comments below. Leave a like, leave a share. Come and follow me on social media. And most importantly, enjoy your fucking day. All right, I'll catch you later. Peace.